I think we're in the same position. We feel the same way. And that's why we, and like I said, for us, we like to, you know, I, I don't know, you know, what it is, but we're like, we always keep saying, because I'm not going to advise something that I didn't do and how we, or even when we put people in places and put them in hotels and, and, and then you're going here, you're going there throughout the country, 10 times out of 10, we've already been there. We go. We we don't like. For example, we we just added Zimbabwe, um, Vic Falls to our to our itinerary, right? Keep in mind that I, I'll be honest with you. We've been asked about fifteen times over the oh, last Lord, yeah. five years to add Vic Falls, not just from customers, but from people in Zimbabwe. And we're like, no, we're not doing it because I don't know what's happening there. Until just recently, I said, okay, great offer came you know, amongst other offers. And we went and we saw it for ourselves. We stayed there. We ate the food. We ate the we food. We touched, all, we touched all the test points. And if it wasn't what it's supposed to be, we wouldn't be offering um, um, Zimbabwe. But now that we, we test all the points, we had a chance to see it and whatever, we can actually feel confident in, 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 after, in, in offering um, Victoria Falls but that's the same thing with you guys. You guys came, you tested, you ate the food, you did all the stuff, you spent all the time, you met the people. And so somebody's going to ask you, I'm going to ask you now, somebody's going to say, well, what about the culture shock? How, how can you have culture shock if you used these last five years to get acquainted with South Africa? <laughs> no, because, you know, like I said, every time I come back, to, to Rosebank, I go to my spot and my girl is there waiting on me. Cause I yeah. we we see each other. I know her. We talk, you know. Yeah. So that's your girl. That's my girl, you know. I can't wait yeah. to get there. Oh, for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I think the culture shots you, you get is you didn't realize how wonderful the place is. Yeah. When you get there, yeah. that's the culture shot you get say, wow. Yeah, this is I didn't I didn't anticipate this or and, yeah. and case in point is that Lynn, you know how Lynn is. Yeah. Sure. You know <laughs> when when she came the first time, you know, Lynn is after a day or two, anytime Lynn says, Wow, I enjoyed this. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. We did you know, Lynn. that's it. You, when you can get her to, to say that and enjoy it, like you don't have to say anything else. Yeah. Five, five stars. Five stars. Five stars. Five stars. Yeah. That's a good one. I like that. Five stars. You know yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But so I, and, and I will tell you, go ahead, Barry. No, I'm, and I'm saying, so if you can impress, you know, the ones that's, a, that's harder to impress and you can do it moments after they get there and, or days after, you, you don't have to say anything else. You yeah, just yeah. don't. Yeah, we we've, we've we've had them come. To be honest with you, you know, this is you know we're live, so we we, we got we can't edit it. Yay. No, <laughs> yeah. no, we we we've had a lot of people that you know. I travel. I go to Europe. I do this. I travel this. I've been here. I've been there. So you know, just to you know, and I'm and I'm, I'm ad living like this, but yeah. people are literally like asking us about just for us that are basic things that we do. They're like, oh, is it this? Is it that? And they actually, all the way up to the time they get on the plane, sending emails, you know. What about this? What about Yeah, that? what about? What about? And then they get here, and they for, totally forget about every question they ask. And they're like, oh. I didn't. This is amazing. And we're like, I know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. I know you bougie, you know. But it's then, okay. Yeah, but the funny part about it, you know, full disclosure, you know, me and Tasha, you know, when we were there in the U.S., but we were traveling to um, South Africa a lot. When we didn't travel to South Africa or we couldn't, um, Cindy, you probably didn't know, but we was always in the Hamptons. We was up in uh, Martha's Vineyard because we felt that was the only level that we could get to that was like South Africa. So when I jump in the car, we drive five hours, then we're, boom, we're in the, or six hours because we had yeah. to get to New York and then... The and cross over, yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, um, we was in the Hamptons, and then when we get there, we're like, okay, this is about as close as we're going to get to being in South Africa. But it was it was a lot more stressful because I didn't see anybody that looked like me. Yeah. And number two, I spent an awful lot of money. It was nice, money. but the yeah. comfortability that I get 
here <laughs> doesn't it's compare normal. to it's like a normal it's, thing. It, yeah. Exactly. It's what you've been looking for, right? The your whole life that you don't know you need. And when you get to South Africa, you're like, oh, this is what I've been trying to feel. And it's funny because you know, you guys know I bought my parents in, in December. And tell them about your parents. Yeah, yeah. so I, I bought them and they had an amazing time. And every time I talk to my mom, she's just like, I had such a good time with it. It was just so nice seeing all those young people that look like me and they were doing great things. And my dad was yeah. like, the food is amazing. She's trying to figure out, figure out how she can get back. But just to give them that experience for them to know that this exists is yeah. motivation. Now they're trying to figure out how they can get back. Yeah. Right. So, but just being or having that level of comfortability is something that we really want our people to experience, which is why we do what we do in the tourism space, because you need to you need to feel it. You need to experience what yeah. that's like. It's not like being in Atlanta. I know that there's, you know, dense populations of us, but, you know, that the greater amount is never us. And you need to right. feel. That. So that's why we like South Africa so right. much. I mean, there's a difference between going to um uh tyson's corner <laughs> oh tyson's going and going to louis vuitton all the the stores mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. going to um mandela square going to louis vuitton i went into louis vuitton there and i asked i was telling this guy about this boot i had seen and he pulled out the boot and i was like oh try it on Try, you know, and he was pulling out stuff. He didn't know if I had a dime or or, or a nickel. But <laughs> treat me as though, why are you here? What are you doing? You know, or following me around the store. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a big difference when you walk in and someone's offering you a tray of champagne, and you know, while you're shopping, I'm like, so this yeah. is happening. Good. This, this, this is happening. Yeah. 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 I, like, I like this. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? It, 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 it's just like, like I feel the the bougie side of me is being catered to. Okay. Ooh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good point. The yeah. bougie you know? side and, of and, me. And, and you know the funny part about that? Because, you know, and, and, and we've had it. We've had people that's, you know, they're like, well, like, I don't need all of that. I don't need this. And I'm like, in, in my mind, if you never experienced it, you don't of know. course you're going to say that. Right. I will say it too. Right. I, I have said it. I yeah. don't need all that. Just give me, you know, a box of, a two piece box of chicken. I'm good. That may be true. <laughs> <laughs> but I prefer now yeah. um, the other the, the, the other side. And so that's why we have a life. Yeah. So that's why on our trips, we do everything. I mean, we don't skimp. I don't right. say, okay, oh, well, we'll just take this off. And we, no. And and I, I'm very quick to say, well, then maybe you need to travel with someone else. Um, because right. the people that come with us, I mean, I want them to expect what they expect. You know, even if they don't even know it. And then I think almost 100% of the time, people like, you guys over delivered. I didn't, yeah, I didn't, I didn't think it was going to be like this. You know, and, and which is good. So I would say, you know, just like you said, Cynthia, about, you know, people who retire, and, you know, even those that, you know, obviously you both retired military, you know, even those retired military people need to be looking at South Africa as a as a as a as an option. Right, Barry? <laughs> I agree. I, I do agree. Yeah. 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 I think so. they need to, you know, have other options, you know, look into it at least. You know, I always tell, you know, when I'm talking to people, I'm like, visit. Don't close your mind to taking a visit. Visit. Instead of going to here or there, go there and, and see. And if you get there, you don't like it. Okay, at least you went out there and you, you tried it. Yeah. But don't close your mind, you know, that this and that. No, visit first. Because they find it so easy to go to the European countries, you know. Mm -hmm. You say I'm going to Germany or or Paris or wherever. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, great. I say I'm going to Africa, South Africa. They like, ooh, why, 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 why are you doing that? You know, yeah. not realizing how fantastic it is to be there and cheaper. Yeah, 
Let me take a time out and say hi, Janila, and thank you for calling me Maine Mom. And you better come back. Yes, I do my very best for you guys. <laughs> Kisses. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Sorry, people. We bring a Sorry. lot of people to South Africa. And yeah. Sometimes they they show up on this, and sometimes and yeah, I used to see my inbox. But anyway, she calls me Maine Mom, which I absolutely love. I yeah. love it. Uh, yeah. let, hey, let me let me let me say this before is that I'm always. Um, talking to my siblings about visiting and all this and all that. So, you know, I was talking to Mitchell, who's, you know, traveling that that distance is he he's not even going to think about it. Yeah. The other, he mentioned to me, he said he he looked at the real South Africa and now he watched it right there. Yeah. Right there, yeah. just alone that he's watching it. And he's mm -hmm. considering. He doesn't have to go right now, but he's considering. Yeah, it's exactly. Yeah. That's it. It's a plus that Small he's step. watching. He said, Small keep popping up on my phone. And, and all. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so that's a plus. And I told him, I said, okay, that, that, you know. So we got a few more that I'm yeah, they're coming. working on they, to, they, to, they to visit. They're coming. Listen, listen, I'm going to say this and then I'm going to be done. You say you got a few more you're working on. Now, I have lived here for six years. Mm -hmm. I've been coming for the last 13. My sister, I've been talking about South Africa since 2011. Again, I've been living here for six years. She just got her passport last week. <laughs> yeah, now she's ready. Now she's talking about coming. But until that point, it took all of that time just to get her to get the passport. And now she's ready to come. So, it, so the thing is... Yeah. You're right. It takes a little bit. It takes time. It takes it takes time. So we're not rushing anybody. Just yeah. their time will come. South Africa yeah. will be here. Yeah. yeah. It will be here. It's not waiting for you, but it'll be here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we're still going to be eating. We're still going to be partying. We're still going to be doing our thing. We're still yeah. going to be living a nice lifestyle while you're deciding if it's the same. Right. Um, yeah. and, and, and like, like you used to tell us, I'm not going to convince you. You'll see. No, no, no. I, no, I gave up. Yeah. I literally... I was yeah. like, you know what? Y'all will figure it out. Yeah. Y'all will figure it out. And you know, the you know, the good part about it is, you know, I, I will say this, you know, and for another group of people, um, we do bring a lot of people who, who bring their parents. Um, I know Barry was is fortunate enough to bring um, you know, his his mom twice, right? Yeah. Twice, yeah, yeah, yeah. He brought her twice and, and and she enjoyed it. You know, I was I was fortunate enough to bring, you know, my our mom um to, to south africa and i'm trying to tell you until the until the day it ended for her she literally talked about south africa you remember cindy yeah yeah yeah, yeah. she loved it she yeah. loved it yeah and and she so, always talked about how oh they just treated me so nice i felt like a queen <laughs> yeah yeah and she was trust me i was i was there i was i was oh. watching over her and then it got to the point to where they wouldn't even let me watch over they were like mark we got her and they walked her everywhere, took her, they did everything, they did made everything. sure there's time to eat that, you know, obviously she's the elder. So they gave her her food first. And I'm like, yep. do I get to eat? And they were like, <laughs> <laughs> you sit over there. I, I was, I was, I was, I was, still a, I was still Americanized. And, yeah. I, and on that note on being Americanized, you know, I think people need to, you know, use this time, especially when they come to South Africa and, and, and it's going to feel so comfortable. It's going to feel so familiar, but this isn't America. This is just not America. This is this is South Africa, their own com country, and these people that that you're going to run across, all these people, they went through a lot to make this country what it is. You know, this isn't a this isn't a Disney, uh, in reference to you know they just built it and, and you know no they they did a lot and and so I respect it because I'm with them every day yeah. and I hear these and I hear these stories. So like even when you guys have come before. Like for example, you mentioned Tasha's restaurant and you dropping tips, and and you know you know we look at it as a small thing, but it's not a small thing um, to to be able to come as tourists. And now you're going to be spending a lot of that um, hard earned retirement money here in the Republic of South Africa. And, you know you might not directly you know grant a job, but trust me, jobs are going to be created. Things are going to happen. You know ultimately you're going to buy your house. You're going to have somebody you know assist you in certain areas in your house those are jobs 
right. you know, that are well needed here in this country. And unfortunately, and fortunately, however you want to look at it, that's one of the biggest reasons why we got into the tourism space, because, you know, like in the States, we watched the State of the State of the Union address. And of course, the president gets up and talks about certain topics and things. Mm-hmm. Here they talk, they talked about tourism. Like the second or third thing they bring up, like in America, is always some war or something that they're talking about. But here they was talking about, you know, the, the people, and then they started talking about tourism because so much that is brought into the country because of tourism. So I said, well, hell, I could do this. And so we've we we spearheaded a lot of stuff to to help bring tourists to South Africa. So I, I do appreciate everyone that's come, even if you didn't come through the real South Africa. And, and 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 but we need to start coming here to make our presence known that we are interested in this country. So if if they see that we're interested and they only can count the numbers that, you know, they, you know, they're not going to meet you. Um, I can tell you that my um, interactions with their State Department and things like that, they're interested in doing something. But obviously, the numbers are going to have to bear out at right. some point. I think, Cindy, you saw me in a, in a, in a high level meeting. And oh. I, I think I had you, I had you Skyped in. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and so the conversation is, is, is ongoing. But eventually, we're all going to be in the same space at some point. So that's just that, that's just the way I see it, because a lot of us, you know, you got that passport and you got that you got that visa. You can come this way. Uh, but um, most Americans don't realize that most South Africans that you meet can't come to America. America has like a little a little block. They they I'm, I'm being kind and they have a little block mm-hmm. um, where they can't just take their passport, land in, in, in JFK or Dulles or or um, Atlanta and just get off the plane, show their passport and keep it moving. So it's going to be up to us to actually um, start this. So all those years of experience that you have doing all the things that you've already done, um, the South Africans are looking for that from you, from you guys and anybody who comes. Yeah, that's what they're looking for. And by the way, you can you can you can get a uh, you can get a massage at the same time. (laughs) Okay. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. All you got, look, you ready, Cindy? Tell me if you want an all day or not. That's all I need to know. Mm. All day. Yes, ma'am. Oh, all all's the day long. I, I, I ain't hit that one yet. Not all day. Okay. No, I'm all day. You can just leave me there and come back in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so let me ask you this. So, obviously, you 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 you're comfortable with your decision. Obviously, because you sold your house. I would yeah, say, it's yeah. and uh, <laughs> and um, and whatnot. But the people that you've run across at church, the people you run across at work, and just in the community, are they like uh, on a percentage scale? Are they a hundred percent on board with you, or are they just kind of like you know? I really don't. It doesn't make any sense because what you're doing is totally off the right. off the the government retired scale. Right. What you're doing. Well, I think they were okay, or or uh, they're all say they're happy for me. But am I going too fast? You know, because like at the at, at at my retirement, it was it was mentioned that I was leaving, and I said, yeah, I leave next week. <laughs> you know, I'll be leaving next week, and they were like, you know, you really jumping? I said, no, I'm not jumping the gun. It's just you know, I've been planning this. It was the plan was to turn and yeah. and go. Um, I. In, and I just think people are not used to making a decision and acting on it. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah. You you know, you can talk about it all day long, you know, and look at all the videos and say, wow, well, I wish that was me. I wish I was with Asha. I wish, you know, da, 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 da. But if you don't act on it, all you can do is look at videos, you know. Yeah. You know, and that's why, you know, you have all these, um, these shows, these, reality shows you're watching somebody else's life yeah you need to start your own life you know you need to have your own thing going on you know why you you feeding off of what they're doing you're not doing anything so where where i will be meeting with asha you know i i don't have to just watch her on video (laughs) <laughs> Listen, Asha gonna be so excited to see you. She gonna say, y'all can do the all day spa together. We'll just send Barry for a regular 60 minute massage and get him out of there. Yeah, oh yeah. But no, I'm just saying, you know, people, you know, talk a good game about what they're gonna do 
And because mm-hmm. sometimes we will be like, are we really doing this? How did this mm-hmm. really get into motion? <laughs> you know? Because yeah. we're like, was following the plan, sticking to the plan, sticking to the plan. Stop buying shoes. Stop buying purses. Stop. I know purses. it's so hard. Yeah. Stop so, buying purses. Yeah. Right. Stop right. Right. So, so let me ask you. So, so, and that's another, and that's another thing because a lot of times when people are like, and we do make, we do talk to people on the phone, and they're like, "Yeah, I don't want to do all that. I, you know, da 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 da. I just want to move." And I'm like, "Bro, listen." You're gonna to have to change your change a lot of things that you do. You're right. just gonna to have to change. Yeah. And, and what I mean is, like you said, you're gonna to have to change your spending habits, mm-hmm. your saving habits. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna be going back to the Bahamas again? Yes. Or let the, yes, like 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 you're gonna change everything. But they don't think that's a problem because you know they're using credit and so forth, and they're amassing debt. And I'm not gonna bring that up. No, yeah, you did. I, I did. I brought it up. Um, <laughs> and then and then on top of that. They, they think they could just add this on too. And you don't realize it. So when I, so again, these are the same people that that I'm chatting with them on the phone and they're like, well, I just want to come. And I'm like, well, I'm tell you right now, you're not going to be motivated to change your habits. You're not going to be motivated not to call Amazon. You're not going to be motivated to, you know, to get your debt down. Or if you don't, if you know you're going you're gonna to need income when you get here to start working on that, you're right. not going to you're not going to do any of that. It's just talk. You're not going to do any of that until you actually get off that plane in the Republic of South Africa and get you some chicken licking. Then, then, <laughs> <laughs> then, then you be ready. <laughs> then you'll be like, you know what? Yeah. I'm motivated. Yeah, now it's real. Yeah. 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 So you, you're right. Um, yeah. So, so my question, I said it was my last question before. Was it a, do you think that if you had waited two more years, you say you had two years before you could retire, you took an early retirement, right? Do you mm-hmm. think that if you would have waited, things would be the same? Like, did you feel an urgency is what I'm asking? I feel it was an urgency because he's already retired. Now I can't be yeah. getting up, going to work or doing work and he's already retired. Mm-hmm. But also, I felt it was an urgency because, you know, and, and, and my daughter says, don't let a few dollars take you out. Yeah. When they say, don't don't be letting a couple of more dollars take you out. You yeah. Know? You know, Mark, you know, I, our, our father missed out on his retirement. Sure and did. That, that plays a lot in my head. I'm not mm-hmm. waiting. I'm not waiting. No. It's, it's, it, the, the time is now. It yeah. was it was it was planned, but we knew that I may be losing, but actually I'm actually gaining. Exactly. Oh yeah, you're gaining right. tremendously. Yeah. yeah. And and just and just the peace of mind aspect overall, because I remember having a conversation with you many years ago, and I know you you was like like I know you was how can I say I know you believe with that and what how we was doing, and mm-hmm. you saw us working before doing at our companies, and I was Secret Service right. flying all over the earth everywhere. And whatnot and then you saw that i was i was comfortable i was i got here i was super comfortable mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. now you're about to experience to, to experience too. so i'm 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 literally i told tasha i said i'm just gonna sit back and i'm gonna watch and just watch it watch it happen it's gonna be awesome watch it happen just like asha and and and, and the hearts and Heart. many other yeah. that, mm-hmm. that i've seen that i've seen come here and they're they they're trying to okay i gotta do this i gotta do this even asha i gotta do this i gotta do this gotta, and then eventually it, it, it turned into a a, a a echo yeah i mean it, like a, a distant memory and right. then now so when you say get up go do what i want to do um you know i'm i'm very happy for all of them that's came here and found their way they're still going to be who they are you know as a person you know i remember even with the hearts i told them i said you know because they was they were you know church members they were going to church Think they was pretty heavy in the church and whatnot they never said it but then eventually they did and then i said oh well then you're going to ultimately find you a new church home you're going to be doing these things so forth and so forth and then of course it's nah i ain't, I ain't gonna be doing all that and then as time went on because they've been for a little while now now they're like down the church they found home. a church home they got people they're doing their right. thing you know asha's doing her thing 
right. and other people who yeah. come are doing their thing people who came with us or or you know they got their kids and they're doing their thing and they're finding their own people and they're being integrated into the to the bigger collective so right. and i said all that to say is that it's really because some people at call and ask well i just want to be around all the americans and i'm like most of the americans are spread out doing their own thing mm -hmm. they're literally doing their own thing because the south africans are like we're the same like why are you why are you um making it different you know like like why are you separating yourself and that's something that i'm um, obviously i think you guys will not separate yourselves yeah um from the from the south africans you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. but but at the, at the same time i think uh, uh, you're going to find that everything that you're looking for as far as beyond what you already know Oof. the south africans have all that and they're going to show you they have all of it they, they every, a lot of the stuff that we've learned was 2011 12 13 14 2015 learning from south africans and so when i would go home to virginia stafford virginia it was like it was nobody talking to me no everybody was just working and couldn't have a good conversation i'm couldn't, like there was no social life there was like yeah it was it was it was painful it was it was different and so that's why when Tasha said, well, Mark is always trying to go to South Africa because I get here and everybody's like, oh, you're back. Let's get together. Let's talk. They're not talking about problems. They're not talking about all this craziness. They were just happy people across the board. And I said, I want to be one of the happy people. I want to be one of the cool kids. <laughs> so that was the only way that I could do it was to actually get my stuff, us in order, just mm -hmm. like Barry. Like just just like Barry did, yeah. mm -hmm. I did the, I did the exact same thing. I just made sure, made sure, made sure, made sure that we have everything in order. And even when people travel with us, they don't realize it, but I'm I'm behind everything, making sure that everything is going the way it's supposed to go. Yeah. And people are like, wow, I didn't have to do anything. And I'm like, I know, <laughs> you know mm -hmm. that that you know. So you can basically count on this. But I think at the end of the day, that you guys are going to ultimately find you uh, you know a nice pack of people it could be some americans could be south africans could be zimbabwean could be from somebody yeah. from, from 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 zambia could good be good people that's all i don't care what they are just good people yep. good and solid get, people that's that's it yeah and you get to choose yeah that's the good part 22 years yeah so i i, I and, and 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 i would say this and here's the here's the funny part over all the years that you guys have been living and you guys have been living a long time this is probably the very first time you get an opportunity to, to opportunity to choose where you want to live. This is the yeah. first time. Yeah. You get to use yeah. it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, other time we've been in the military, Andrew. Yeah. Or well, you got a job that you tied to and you have to be there. Have to, yeah, yeah. I I remember. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody mm -hmm. asked me to, my friend today asked me, hey, you know, the um your old job, did you did you ever think about going back? And and Tasha knows they they called me twice. And I'll tell him they called me twice. Question, don't you blaspheme I'm me? Like, talk about going back to work. Yeah, they called me <laughs> twice. Hey, you know, Mark, we're we got a program where we want to bring you know some of the old people back. You're already trained. You can you can just start. And I'm like, nah. <laughs> There's no dollar amount attached to that. Yeah. Ever yeah. Because of where I am, so. I'm looking forward to you guys getting where where we are as far as like you said you know that's just a that's just the first part when you start saying you know the freedom the people and then the debt thing yeah. it's, it's it's pretty nice it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice yeah yeah it is it I'm excited is they're coming I, I and it's funny because i i've been containing my excitement but i'm like I've been watching you guys come back and forth, have the conversations and Mark is excited too, but I'm like a little bit giddy because I feel like you guys deserve this so much. Me and too. I'm, I feel like you deserve it. <laughs> Me too. I feel like you deserve it so much. And I just, I want to see you in this space, be free, do the things you want to do, eat the food you want to eat. Barry will be at the game parks looking at animals. He can do that whenever he wants to. I'm going to drop them off every Tuesday and they can be like, oh, Mr. Gray is here. <laughs> <laughs> you can be like, I'm going to drop him off and go get a massage. Right. Um, 
But I am. I'm really, really excited for you guys. I can't wait till you get here. We will do our best to give you the two weeks away, but we're probably going to be in your face. Yeah. Well, good, but we're not doing no work. Well, Rick, you know, one thing that, and you you mentioned uh, the hearts. That, you know, one thing I, I wanted to do is, is sit down with them to to talk about their journey in having a home built what mm -hmm. they went through the things and stuff like that because right now we are still on the fence on the fence of getting one and tweaking it to what we want or getting one built to what we like mm -hmm. so so i want to you know and like you're saying just sitting down and talk to meant the hearts and maybe others who had you know who had built who went through you went went through the process of building some of their up some of their down some of they do some of they don't we want to what talk to, to people do. who come in and who, did it right who went who went through the process and sit there and just pick yeah. their brains and stuff like that so we you know one thing i don't want to do is is create something that's already in place i i don't yeah, look i got more years behind me than in front and i don't want to waste time doing that so it's cool. just things that you know that's in place that we can take advantage of talk and let you know lesson learn that that's why I, I, I we thank you guys because you already you know you showed us the lesson learn some of the do some of the don't you you you're very informative of letting us know what to expect what to do and everything and we know nothing is guaranteed we already yes. know but lessen some of the, i mean lessen some of the blows that we don't have to take so you know and that's why it's important to listen, pay attention, grab the shirts of someone who already walked that lane so you don't have to try to create a new one for yourself and maybe fall off and do some other crazy thing. So I just want to sit and talk to people who went through and, and stuff like that. And that's also just get to meeting other people and, and make connections and, you know, so, you know, yeah, things like that. So. Yeah. And, and, and the good part about it is, you know, the, the, the names you don't know just yet. I mean, there will be people right. that you don't know that you're going to meet. And like I said, a, a lot of those people are going to be South Africans. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna be, yeah. Yeah. A lot of them. Yep. We have so. no, no, we have no boundary who we, who, you know, who to meet, who not to meet. People is people, yeah. you know, that's all we do. Just you know, people. and when I, one of the things that when you mentioned the heart and church, we have a sister church there as well. Mm -hmm. So some of those things, the cushion is, is laid, you know, but it's other things that we still have to learn, you know, mm -hmm. when we get there and have yeah. good, good, uh, uh, um, leadership like you guys are to, you know, guide us in those directions and other people. That's what we look for. But well, you're gonna like, be doing at, at, at some point. You'll be you'll be leading people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you like Moses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe, 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 maybe that's the case. And the only reason I can even, 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 even entertain it is because you know, uh, how can I explain it? There are so many people. I mean. You know, you guys having your experience, we having our experience, but it's not something that's just that can only be unique to us. Right. You know, there's a lot of good people in the uh, in, in the U.S. A lot of good, a lot of good people, married, single. You call it, you however you want to do it. There's a, too many good people that are that are willing to put the work in, willing to do whatever they need to do, um, but they always end up falling short of glory. And 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 as Americans, Black Americans, we kind of know why they fall short of glory. And it's not always their fault. They're not bad people. They're not like downtrodden. They right. just didn't get get an yeah. opportunity. Yeah. And, and 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 so that's why we do things the way we do it. I mean, I could do it another way, and just get people here, and then they go back and they whatever. And um, but that's not my that's not my intention. Because if it was like that, I wouldn't do it at all. I would just be like, you know what, Tasha, we good. Yeah. We got a house. You know, I mean, y'all been here. It's, we we not bad off. And um, we we could just relax. We could just relax. But we like no. We want we want our people to have an opportunity. And the biggest reason, what, what the number one reason is, because when we run across South Africans, mm -hmm. they're like, "Where are the other uh, African, African Americans? Americans yeah. Where are they?" You know, we want to meet them. We want to talk to them. And then, of course, you know, 
they're consistently listening to our content as far as the music, our movies, the, you know, they're waiting for the next, um, you know, uh, what's that movie with Will Smith and Martin Lawrence? They waiting for the next bad boy, just like we are, you know, <laughs> so they, so they feel like they know us, but they never meet us. They always end up meeting, you know, our counterparts or they meet some, some, some Asian people who they don't want, they don't consume their content. They don't know them. They meet everyone else, but like, where are those African-Americans? And so it's, it's, it's great to be over here and people say, hey, I met an African-American the other day. Yeah, and, they're, and you're immediately their yeah. friend, like yeah. Yeah. immediately. Yeah, they say, or, or they, they met them because they're like, oh, cause you know, and they and then they, you know, most South Africans will mention our name and they say, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they know you guys, you guys help them, help them come. Yeah. So like this year, like last year, we didn't go to the, the Africa's biggest travel show. We didn't go last year because we were, we were kind of busy. Yeah, you get busy. But this year we're going Yeah. and we're going to, we're going to, we're going to do some things. And so to see if we can expand this because most South Africans who are watching this don't realize that most Americans don't hear about South Africa. Did y'all ever hear about South Africa outside of what we were doing? No. Cindy? No, no. <laughs> Only on a bad note. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nobody knows. No. And the, and and it's but but the but everybody else knows, and they come and and yeah. Them, well, they, I wouldn't say that they didn't know South Africa. It, South Africa wasn't being um, advertised as a place to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to, you know, and certain things that you did hear about South Africa have been something negatives or whatever it is, but South Africa was not a destination. It not wasn't advertised as a destination, you know, before then. But it, that doesn't say that when we're at the airport. Again. <laughs> that doesn't say that when we're at the airport. What's that? That they don't know this to, is a destination. I'm saying to us. Yeah. But no, for them... It, they be at the airport strong. I'm, I'm talking about to <laughs> African Americans. I'm not saying to yeah. to the whites in there because, like I said, when, you know, when I thought we was in the wrong line because <laughs> when we went to, I think when we were one of the groups that we brought my cousin Lonnie when we uh, it was in New Jersey, and I said, "Cuz," I said, "Watch when we load the plane to go to South Africa." He said, "What you mean?" I said, "Just watch." And so, so when it was time to load, I said, who do you see? He said, I, I see what you're talking about, cuz. He said, I, all I see, he said, all of us is just in this group. He said, everybody else is white. I said, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I mean by advertisement and all this other stuff is that they flock there. Mm -hmm. You see planes full, but you won't see planes full of us on, on those planes. Yeah, that's the yeah. thing by advertising. What I mean by advertisement and everything else. So, you guys are doing a great job of doing that, but I think more of that have to be done. Exactly, exactly, and and done properly because he. This is what we know from the from the insider's perspective. Um, we do need to come for a lot of reasons. If nothing more than maybe in the future, our kids cannot pay. You know, fifteen, twenty, thirty thousand dollars a year to go to college, they can pay five thousand. Yeah. Because we got the University of Pretoria, University of Big South Town, Africa, Pittsburgh, we got Stellenbosch University, we got Vis Vortis Rand, we got all these different colleges that they can get education and and, and 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 do very well. But I guess I guess my point is, you know, you know, people want even 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 in here in South Africa, because we get a lot of South Africans that reach out to us and say, well, is, is 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 South Africa tourism helping us? We've had a lot of conversation with South Africa tourism, a lot of them in the, in some time ago. But you got to understand that you know the whole tourism industry is being held up been, by South Africa tourism, and they know who they who, who they can get. They're not going to abandon a whole market of people coming from Germany, coming from the Netherlands. They're not going to abandon that because that's jobs, that's money coming into South Africa. I get it. So they and, and, and their economy is not as big as, as America's. So they got to pick and choose where they can win their battles. They have a small office in the United States. I think it has between four and five people that covers the United States, Canada, Mexico, all of North America, the whole North America, five people, five. 
So that's why we never see any content on, on South Africa. But just like black people have always done, especially from the U.S., even here in South Africa, we're going to have to do this ourselves. We're going to have to do it ourselves. We're going to have to do our own work. And that's why you always hear me say this needs to be a grassroots movement because we're going to have to do it ourselves, not just in South Africa, but we're going to have to do it in in, in all the other nations that have black people that would love to meet their brothers and sisters here on the continent. It's us. And it's great that I run into you know, other people in the tourism space, other people that are doing things kind of like we, what we're doing or maybe something a little bit different that bring light to Africa. So then black people can say, well, sh dang, I did not know that Africa was like that. And so that's that's ultimately the plan. But I only have some levels of influence down here in, in, in South Africa. And so and while I'm here, I'm going to do that. So I I want South African tourism to continue to do what they're doing because they got to feed these people. These people need jobs. They need they need to be be, be uh, having jobs as in, in, in as a masseuse and whatever. They need those jobs. No, these are these are very, very important jobs. Absolutely. No, they're very important jobs because that's how they're feeding their families. And I know this. So when I bring people, I know that somebody's getting paid. Somebody's going to be able to feed their families and whatnot. At the at the at the end of the day, if people see what we're doing and then you go and you bring your family and the rest of the people and then they bring people because we had a, we, we brought a couple here that um, I can't remember their names, but they remember the couple that came during the holidays, yeah. but they came during the holidays. But, but they, they were, a boatload. yeah, they was kind enough to reach because we, we sorted them out. Matter of fact, you guys met them because y'all was here too. Um, it was a, it was a, it was a, um, she was a, she was an emergency room doctor. Oh yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I and, I, and I don't remember what she, they did, but they was kind enough to reach out to us and say, hey, you know, hey, we're going to try to do this. We're going to, because I'm bringing a whole bunch of people. And matter of fact, the day we picked up Tasha's mom, dad, and her group, they were on the same plane. They had a whole bunch of. Wow. Yeah. That was a beautiful sight. <laughs> so, yeah. so, so here we are again. It's happening. But if they didn't come with us and have a good experience, it, if they were having all these problems, they, they wouldn't, wouldn't have brought, brought nobody. Yeah. They're like, no, I'm not bringing anybody. But yeah. they had a good time. They brought people, and they, they're bringing more people. More money spent. More people working. Right. Yep. That's 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 where that's I stand. Yeah. 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 So and, and that's that should be everybody's stance when they come here to you know to understand that you know we're trying to help out an economy here that's going to help the people. But th those same people, believe it or not, once you start spending more time here, they know stuff. You know, they mm -hmm. just I just I was just alerted today that I didn't even know it, but it was pretty I guess common knowledge that they found like thirty trillion dollars worth of oil off the coast of Cape Town. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know that. I thought I knew everything, but yeah. you know, when people sit down with me and tell me things, and um, we need to be part of that. I mean, there's an industry that that black people from the U.S. could get involved in and partner with South Africans, not coming in and trying to take over, yeah. but just come and be part of it. Yeah. Right. You know, and here we are. So I'm I am officially getting off my soapbox because that's how I feel about this place. I do. <laughs> he loves South Africa. Well, no, well, I'm, I'm with the people. Yeah, and we're passionate of like, like like about the people and how yes. they're doing and you know how we can make a difference. And you know, when you start talking about, hey, um, I want to come and bring jobs, that's great. But the first way you come and bring a job, and I quote that bring a job is to come and spend your money here, come as a tourist. That's how you inject your first investment into yourself yeah. and into the economy. You got to get here first. And that's kind of where we start our grassroots movement. Like he said, you got to get here. And, and get in bed with the, um, not literally get in bed, but sure. start building with the people and understand that, you know, you have a purpose. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm leave it there. No, so, well, you gotta tell everybody our secret. Oh, okay. Is there a secret? There's a secret. I don't know nothing about it. It must be a real secret. <laughs> <laughs> What's the secret? The See, Mark has been bringing everybody there, including his family. <laughs> yeah, 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 and it and it it took a while. It did. It took it it took a long while to have the first visit, and then subsequently after that, it take it takes time. But people yeah. just need to be patient because every you know I hate to say it like this, even as a as a person who runs a tour company here in South Africa, everybody's not ready. But when they are ready, they need to be landing in a in a, in the proper 
scenarios. Stop joining all these little janky situations. Come to a proper because everybody ain't ready. I, I'm in yeah. my own family. They wouldn't. I was like I said, y'all guys who've been listening for a while. I've been coming for years. No, he was listening. You were listening. Yeah, they were listening, but you wasn't ready to, you know, right. obviously. But once you got on, which I already knew, you were, you know, you were gonna, you were gonna walk the path, and, and then you brought my other sister. Then you brought my other sister. Yeah, yeah. That was you. Yeah. But I knew that was gonna happen because one grab a hand, and other yeah. reach back and grab. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And we're gonna keep that chain going until yeah. we get everybody here. Yeah, and yeah. we and, and we really do like the the mothers and daughters that come. They bring it. They, we got one that just came. They're bringing more people. Yeah, we got. I mean, it's 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 growing, and we want people to to understand that there are options in 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 a lot of ways. I mean, I mean that U.S. scenario is interesting, you know, because people keep calling us and talking about. Man, you know what's going on in America. You know what's you know what's going on, and I'm like, I hear things because I hear, I talk to people from the U.S., but that's not part of my my environment. I, I no. don't know. Yeah. So. All right. That was coming. Yeah, but I will I will um I will I will leave the floor to you guys, and hopefully the next time they hear from you guys, you guys will be. In South Africa, no, sunny South Africa. Well, I got it, Kasha. I got it. So, is there is there anything else y'all you guys want to add? See you next week. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> is, there, is there anything that you want to add? I, before I go, I would just like to, to pray for our family and also pray, you know, to thank God for for you guys, so that you can continue to do what you do. And, you know, just thank him for everything that he allow us to do each and every day to experience his wonderful um, creations here, there. And, you know, just have the heart to want to expand and, and explore other things. So I thank God for that. Well, we appreciate you guys just for sharing your story and hopefully we you can inspire others. Um, to come to South Africa and just see something a little bit different than what they're used to. Unfortunately, this isn't the Bahamas. This isn't Portugal. Jamaica. This isn't this isn't Jamaica. This is this is as I say. This is this is as Tasha like to say, sunny South Africa. <laughs> okay. See you guys. All right, guys. Bye -bye. See you Saturday. <laughs> Hi, I'm Trevor Noah, and I'm South African, and because I'm South African. People from all over the world insist on asking me questions about South Africa. So, I decided to make an ad to answer some of those fascinating questions. Like, how cold and snowy is your Christmas? Well, Tracy, unfortunately, we can't afford snow. Now nah, I'm just playing. We're in the Southern Hemisphere, which means when it's freezing in Connecticut, it's fantastic in Cape Town. Klaus sent me this one. Can you play golf in South Africa? Well, Klaus, we actually have some of the finest golf courses in the world, but judging by your 37 handicap, can you play golf? How many stars are your five-star hotels? Brian wants to know, can I meet the lions? Well, I don't know if you want to meet them, but you can see them on safari. And get this, it's not just lions, Brian. We've got everything. There's elephants, there's rhinos, there's giraffes, there's buffaloes, there's leopards. Come on, man, expand your horizons. Ostriches. Is South Africa fun? Is it fun? Are you even watching this commercial, Michelle? Paragliding, bungee jumping, surfing, river rafting, shark cage diving, hot air balloons, hiking, cycling, wine tasting, whatever this guy's doing. Does that not look like fun to you, Michelle? Does that not look like fun? So, now that I've shown you South Africa, my only question is, when are you coming to experience it for yourself?
Thank you so much for spending time with us today. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notifications button so you don't miss out on all things The Real South Africa. Thanks again.